Thou harmonizing flower, this plant was just that miraculous, possessing heaven-defying strength, able to help one directly harmonize with the Tao. This type of thing was effective even for a clan's great emperor or true immortal, so one could see just how precious it was. However, from the ancient times until now, there was only that single stock, something that couldn't be sought. This type of thing was only recorded in the books, no one from past until present seeing it before. If not for a true immortal from the last great era speaking about the wonders of this flower, the rest of the world wouldn't even know about it. Are there no clues about its whereabouts at all? Sure how asked. He wasn't really entrusting his hopes on this flower, just that he was curious, wishing to understand a bit more. Sure how felt that if he wanted to transcend above, it was still best for him to rely on his own strength. Only by letting the true self have true experiences can one break through, understand that type of miraculous state. Otherwise, it would just be like getting charity, difficult for him to achieve supreme enlightenment. In the past, there were great emperors who have tried to find it, dying true immortals seeking it, but none of them found anything. It was rumored that only two or three creatures since the beginning of time had the fortune of eating this flower. The great elder said, They all knew that it was heaven-defying, even more precious than long-life medicines, but no one was able to obtain it, only able to gaze at it from afar. It existed in an elapsed immortal Tao legend. However, it wasn't that the great elder didn't have any harvest. After excavating all types of remains, he discovered some clues from an immortal ancient stone engraving. Halfway along the path of immortality, in the nine layers of the underworld, its trail exists. This was the ruined recording the great elder obtained. This was an extremely contradictory suggestion. Halfway to immortality should be sacred, so how could it involve the nine layers of the underworld? The latter should be something extremely frightening. There was one thing that he was certain of, which was that this place most likely couldn't be approached, definitely having extremely dangerous things, or else those of the past would have already picked it, not letting any clues go. The two of them didn't continue this topic, because they knew that this wasn't realistic. It was pretty much impossible to find a Tao harmonizing flower. Remember this well. The great elder passed a method on to him. There were many tadpole-like characters, bone text interwoven and densely packed, sparkling and brilliant. Bone hammering method. Sure how was astonished. This was a method that tempered the bones, able to make him more powerful from inside out, make his bones tougher and open up his inner treasury. Do not show contempt for this method. This is the introductory piece from the body cultivator's highest profound mysteries. The great elder said seriously, Ah, this is only the guidance piece? Sure how curled his lips, starting to look down on it. He himself could already be considered a body cultivator, so did he still need an introduction to guide him? The great elder warned, You merely have a constitution that is good enough, forcefully breaking to this point, but you didn't actually undergo a systematic training. With this method, it will allow your body to become even stronger. In addition, the great elder told him that this so-called introductory piece corresponded to the heavenly deity realm, not something small cultivators could cultivate. This time, sure how was moved. The introductory piece was already like this, so how astonishing would the later pieces be? When you break through the extreme, you can look for the complete piece from Sacred Academy. This is something only those that are sect master level or higher can cultivate. The Great Elder said. This time, Sure How focused on the immortal ancient methods, not placing that much emphasis on Sacred Academy and others' methods. Tempering his bones now was just to make his body strong enough to cross the upcoming life and death trial. Sure How studied it for two days, remembering it well in his heart, moreover obtaining deeper insights. Then, the Great Elder passed down something else. It was a golden bone, on it also a method, Something carved with immortal ancient great ears words. Mind forging method. Sure how was overjoyed. This was a method that spoke about how to forge the primordial spirit, an extremely rare and good item, not easy to find in the present world. Not only does one's flesh need to be powerful enough, the primordial spirit needs to be even stronger. Otherwise, when you encounter the life and death trial, you will likely lose yourself and then ultimately fall. The great elder warned. This method wasn't complete, but for the heavenly deity realm, it was enough. Moreover, the great elder clearly told him that once he emerged from seclusion, he could seek the latter portion from a mortal academy. Ten days later, Sure How got up, heading to a secret place alone. He was going to look for the evil warding divine bamboo and yellow springs fruit, 
the great elder not accompanying or escorting him. Shirhao knew that this was likely a type of trial. If he couldn't even obtain divine medicines that were clearly designated, then what Tao comprehension was there to talk about? Immeasurable heaven, a place that was vast and boundless. Heavenly deity institution was an immeasurable heaven, while that secret realm was similarly here. If he had to go to other places in the nine heavens ten earths, then that really would be too far. Immortal mound, this was the location the great elder pointed out for sure how. It was who knew how many leave from the academy, too far away, definitely an astronomical number. Sure how left the academy. This was the first trip that was slightly more relaxed in a measurable heaven. He passed giant cities one after another, borrowing the formations to travel through the void. The great elder didn't let him use the academy's altar, instead having him personally walk around, have him familiarize himself with a measurable heaven. There is a great battle coming, so if I don't familiarize myself with the mountains and rivers now, understand the landforms, it will definitely cost me dearly. Sure how said to himself, Along the way, he practiced the bone-hammering method, carefully cultivated the mind-forging technique, not in all that much of a hurry to get to his destination. Only by properly digesting these two methods could they display their greatest uses. Five elements lamb kebabs, great mending good. Flood dragon meat stuffed buns, incredibly delicious, good price. Inside an enormous city, Sher Hao felt the liveliness of the secular world, leaving him in a bit of a daze. He had already separated himself from this type of world for too long. Ever since he entered the nine heavens above, he had always remained in the academy or historical remains. He stopped here for several days, preparing himself to enter that secret realm located just a few thousand li out in the great wilderness. This place with mountains, rivers, and great ponds was quite vast, stretching as far as the eye could see. It was said to be a few thousand li from the city, but this was merely to its outer areas. When he really went inside, Sher Hao felt like a leaf that landed in a great sea. He produced a jade tile. It began to shine, showing a path leading in a certain direction. This was a jade tile the great elder gave him. Without it showing the way, there was no way to find that place. It was rumored that only a few old monsters knew about this place. By following the guidance, he finally found the destination. A tall peak directly reached into the clouds, who knew how endlessly tall it was. It was grand and majestic, on it engraved two characters, Immortal Mount. This mountain was extremely eye-catching, precisely what sure how was looking for. However, if he threw away the jade tile, this mountain wouldn't even appear before his eyes. He would pass straight through it without even knowing it was there. This left sure how extremely shocked. Was this mountain a tangible object, or was it illusory? Why could he only touch it when holding the jade tile? A great mountain hidden in the void. Only by holding the jade tile with mysterious formations engraved on it can one approach it. Sure how thought pensively to himself. It was rumored that there was a hilly area around this great peak, but he only saw unending mountains, as well this king of mountains. When one ascends this mountain, those with karma will see the suspended shrine, and only then can a mortal mound be entered. Sure how repeated the advice the great elder gave him quietly. He began to ascend the mountain. As soon as he began to approach, Everything before his eyes began to sway back and forth. He felt a type of great pressure, as if stars smashed down one after another, slamming into his body. Sure how immediately felt like he was going to vomit blood, difficult for him to budge an inch. His entire body was restricted, as if an invisible immortal Dao mountain crushed down on him, making it difficult to even breathe. He took steps forward with great difficulty, feeling as if he was about to suffocate. The mountain path had steps every single step a Zhang tall, as if it was prepared for giants. Sure how climbed them one by one, but after only climbing several dozen of them, he was already crushed by a wave of pressure until blood flowed out from the corners of his lips. Eventually, he opened his single heavenly passage, released three strands of immortal energy, going all out, and only then did he make progress with difficulty, ascending the mountain bit by bit. Sure how didn't stop for a single day, walking for half a month of time. He silently counted, now already completing more than 90,900 steps. 10,000 Zhang tall. He released a powerless sigh. This was just too tall. As he continued to climb, now almost reaching the peak, he felt as if his bones were about to snap. Correct. After using up half a month to climb this mountain, an endless amount of pressure crushing down on his body, many of Sher Hao's bones even began to reveal cracks, 
as if they were going to shatter. Bone tempering method, eh? Sure how seemed to have realized something. His bones were going to be shattered. Did he have to take some time to recover at the mountain peak? He finally reached the summit. It was 10,000 Zhang tall as expected, not more, not less. The moment he reached the summit, Sure how felt golden light pour down. A great sun rose from the east. Upon closer inspection, it was a golden crow's corpse that moved through the sky, surging with the utmost yang energy, thick smoke rising. He perfectly caught the sun rising from the east. An enormous heavenly sun seemed to be rising precisely from this mountaintop. In a daze, everything below the mountain seemed to be a sea surface, this great sun rising into the air from the sea, the scenery magnificent, incredibly beautiful. Dang. A yellow bell rang, long and drawn out, so loud even the deaf could hear. This great bell sound was transmitted from within the world covering golden sunrise clouds, making one feel as if they were enlightened with perfect wisdom, have a sudden urge to verify the Tao here. There was an ancient temple up ahead, made entirely of golden bricks. It was extremely divine and auspicious, bathed in sunrise multicolored light, enveloped within the golden radiance. Sure how felt a type of carefree feeling from his body down to his mind. It was as if after being weary for many days, continuing without sleep or rest, he suddenly relaxed. The surrounding golden light scattered down, bell sounds accompanying the radiance, making him feel as if he was going to sprout wings and ascend to immortality. This was a suspended shrine, the tiles all golden, extremely peaceful and auspicious. In the sunrise multicolored clouds, it floated there. There were many people seated on the brick floor in front of this shrine, silently comprehending, earnestly meditating, these people all comprehending the Tao. Sure how was shocked. There were actually this many people here. There were people young and old here, all of them completely still. There were some who had bone hairpins inserted in their hair buns, wearing beast skin clothes, their upper bodies exposed, looking quite primitive. There were some who wore battle clothes made of immortal gold the armor flowing with immortal light, making them look incredibly holy. This was not a group of ordinary people, every one of them having a type of aura that made one feel great respect, as if they should kneel and bow down when facing them. Sure how sucked in a cold breath of air, this scene making even him feel greatly alarmed, as if his status wasn't great enough to be here. Just what kind of creatures were these? He noticed that regardless of whether it was the middle-aged individuals or the youth, great changes could be seen from within the depths of their eyes. All of them should have already grown to adulthood, none of them young. These individuals either had giant's bows behind them or ancient war spears and other powerful weapons in hand. Every single one of them like unmatched were gods. These people looked like fossils, not moving at all, as if they had existed throughout millions and millions of years of time. It was too strange. A divine disc emerged from behind Shurhal. An ancient flame carrying a mortal mist and surging with chaotic energy silently appeared, starting to illuminate these individuals, engraving all types of great Tao imprints. Sure how spiritual awareness was sharp, senses extraordinary, immediately realizing that the divine disc appeared behind him, currently reflecting those mysterious people. They all represented great Tao, unmatched imprints, resonating with this place, chanting and singing in front of the temple. Endless years ago, there was a group of people like this who comprehended the Tao, residing here long term. Sure how sensed something, obtaining some type of insight. He walked forward step by step, enduring the mountainous pressure. The more than 200 bones within his body shook, releasing ka, -ka sounds, as if he might break apart at any time. However, he didn't stop, walking over slowly and steadily. He arrived before the ancient temple whose tiles and walls were all entirely made of gold approaching this group of people. Then, Shurhau sat down, sitting behind this group of people. Even though there was still a bit of distance, this was already his limit. This left him horrified. Just what type of creatures were these? The engravings they left behind were already this powerful, to the point where even someone as strong as him, reaching the so-called number one in heavenly deity realm, couldn't enter and be with them. Ka. The moment Shurhau sat down, his right leg snapped. As he began his meditation, he heard the chanting of natural gods and devils. His bones felt as if they were being struck, releasing dang dang sounds. Pain. Intense and unendurable pain. Ping. A great impact sounded. Sure how was shaking, his entire body jerking and contorting. He seemed to have been dealt the heaviest blow, 
his entire body starting to distort. His bones weren't enough to support him, his body about to lay paralyzed on the ground, bizarre and terrifying. Sure, how's joints were starting to come apart. At this moment, all of the bones in his body were cracking, and then they snapped. Afterwards, even more numerous and fine cracks appeared, the bone material completely breaking apart. This was the most terrifying unexpected development, simply making one feel despair. However, sure how forcefully supported his body, making his flesh recover. The shattered bones didn't drift apart, instead forcefully piecing them together, continuing to endure this pressure. He was suffering, but even more so exceeding his past self. It was because he immediately knew the moment he sat down, aware of this result. Even though the pain was unbearable, he was still inwardly content. It was because he was enduring a tempering and refinement. Those chanting sounds, the sutras of natural gods and devils were comprehended by him, allowing him to hear a type of supreme divine sound. His bones were blasted apart, as if they were being refined a hundred times over. He knew that the great elder had deeper reasoning behind his choice to make him come here. It was not only because of the evil warding divine bamboo and yellow springs fruit. There was also this type of frightening and cruel baptism. He saw that group of ancient people there, these individuals like war gods. They were researching the Tao, comprehending scriptures, polishing their bodies. Meanwhile, he broke in, blending in, his body thus starting to pulse and vibrate. When a normal person entered, their bodies would be torn and bones crushed, bodies and spirits extinguished. However, with Sher Howe's natural talent that allowed him to cultivate three strands of immortal energy, he could endure it, able to gain enlightenment here, allowing himself to naturally integrate into this group. Bo. Sounds of bones shattering could be heard one after another. If there was someone else here, they would definitely be alarmed, their body shaking. Sure how's physical body was jerking about, the pain incredibly strong. His willpower could hold on, but his body's instincts were still there, reacting strongly. His head was covered in sweat. Right now, all of the golden ancient shrine's bricks and tiles were shining, becoming increasingly divine and holy, now dazzling and brilliant. Meanwhile, the men and women, young and old seated here were even more solemn, dignified and sacred. Even though they were markings left from millions and millions of years ago, right now, they looked like they were real. A rich great Tao aura pervaded the air. Golden energy poured out like water ripples towards Sher Hao, submerging him underneath, making him a part of this entire place. He was no longer like a foreigner. Meanwhile, the pain he felt became more and more intense. Great Tao chains interweaved here one after another like saw blades, hacking at Sher Hao's bones, breaking all of his bones. All of the bones in his body were becoming more and more shattered. Golden bone marrow even flowed out, flickering with luster there, fully displaying their divine nature. However, when the pain reached an extreme, Sher Hao's body suddenly stopped trembling, his warped face starting to calm down. He became holy and peaceful. This continued until he finally fully relaxed. It was because his will surpassed his flesh, starting to examine himself. He felt more and more natural in this place, as if he became one with this group of people, no distinction between them, supported by the scriptures, surrounded by the meditation chants, shining together with them, shattering divine bones, and then reconstructing them. The bone hammering technique, sure how learned from the great elder began to automatically operate. It was as if fine steel was being tempered a hundred times, thousand hammer strikes descending, ten thousand strikes smashing down, reforging his bones. Woo! A loud noise sounded. A large ship slowly drove over, arriving at the summit from the foot of the mountain to the very top of the 10,000 Zhang giant mountain, stopping here. E, we truly are lucky, the ancient markings reappeared, resonating. You all should silently study them, it will bring you great natural luck. On the warship, there was someone who cried out in pleasant surprise. It was an old and gray-haired elder. There were many young men and women on the ship, all of them with unordinary temperaments. However, only a few people got off the ship. When the others tried, blood flowed out from all over their body, unable to endure this type of pressure. E, only the youngsters who cultivated three strands of immortal energy can stand on the mountain while relying only on themselves. An elder said with a light sigh. With a swing of his sleeve, everyone obtained a spotlessly white bone symbol. The pressure was immediately weakened, allowing them to descend the ship. With a hula sound, 
Everyone surrounded this place, watching the golden ancient shrine and the several dozen war godlike indistinct figures, starting to observe and study them. Soon afterwards, they entered meditative states, silently experiencing and comprehending the great loss. However, no one dared rashly approach, because the pressure was too great, nor did they notice sure how, because he was submerged in golden light. Only after half a day had passed and some individuals with three strands of immortal energy walked forward, enduring the pain, closing in on this war god region, did someone reveal a look of puzzlement. It was because he saw the golden mist shrouded sure how. Why did we end up seeing that person from Heavenly Deity Institution? Someone cried out in alarm. This drew the other's attention, as well as startled the elder on the warship. They all looked over. The golden multicolored mist slightly scattered, revealing Shurhao's hazy figure. He is. Huang who defeated the Nine Netherworlds AO. A few people cried out in alarm. They were people from a mortal academy. These people never expected to see Shurhao here, not even those elders noticing before, because Shurhao became one with the war god markings, his aura the same. There were many young disciples who refused to believe this. There is no way it's him. How did he make it all the way up to the ancient shrine? Wasn't this a restricted zone? All those who went in would have their bodies torn and bones crushed? These are all war gods from millions and millions of years ago. Heavens, could it be that Huang is the reincarnation of one of them, reappearing in this world? No wonder he was so powerful. These people all believed different things. They really were shocked. The immortal academy elder that led them this time sighed. He focused on Sure How, naturally seeing that this really was Sure How. He couldn't help but feel a bit terrified at this youth's talent. Only those few like Little Sky King from my Immortal Academy dare approach. Someone said. After less than half a day after everything calmed down, another great ship appeared. Some people from Sacred Academy came as well. When they saw this scene and understood some of the situation, an uproar was raised once more. It's him? Wang Shi appeared, feeling greatly shaken up. Aha, it's sure how. Chao Yusheng said happily. Not everyone who sure how knew from the two academies were here. There were some who were cultivating in seclusion in the two academies. There were even those who had already started to merge with perfect precious seeds. Truly never expected this person to come as well. He didn't enter the two academies, yet was still able to come here. Some people's eyes began to flicker. The current sure how, for many people in the heavenly deity realm, was like a matchless great demon king. Ever since he defeated the nine netherworlds AO, he crushed the others in this cultivation realm to the point where they almost couldn't breathe. The disciples of the two academies naturally arrived here because the elders from their respective sides lead the way. Most people couldn't ascend to the top of the mountain, only able to arrive by relying on the precious ship. There were opportunities here. There was great natural luck. The elders led them here to see if the disciples could obtain anything. When everyone saw sure how, their expressions became complicated. Quite a few people carried hostility and unwillingness. During the battle in Heavenly Deity Institution, he was too powerful. The two academies definitely didn't look that good back then. Of course, there were some people who admired his talent, and also some who felt fear towards him. After several days had passed, quite a few people stood up, unable to endure any further. They couldn't last any longer even with the white bone symbol the Elder granted them. All right, all of you should enter a mortal mound through the Void Bridge. See if any of you can get some type of harvest. There are tremendous opportunities within, an elder from a mortal academy said. Many people stood up, no longer lingering around here. It was because the war god markings tempering was truly unendurable, not something they could resist. After four days, 80% of the people were gone, only a few people continuing to sit here. That day, Sher Hao opened his eyes. All of his bones were crushed by great Tao chains and then temporarily merged again. Golden light flickered about, the bone material transforming. It then became spotlessly white and shining. For ten whole days, it was as if he cultivated in hell. Only, later on, his flesh was in hell, but his spirit transcended. There was like a type of equilibrium, allowing him to endure it all. Sure how sensed something, revealing a look of shock. There were some around him who he recognized, moreover not too far out. Princess Yayu's entire body was covered in sweat, bitterly holding on. You really are, sturdy, enduring this long. Princess Yayu said through clenched teeth, her face pale. She was one of the few young supreme beings who didn't immediately merge with a Tao seed and came here. 
We meet again. Sure how smiled. Soon afterwards, he stood up, leaving the ancient shrine, walking forward. Young man, you really are formidable. The two academies old monsters spoke in praise. Seniors and I have previously met. Sure how displayed an act of courtesy towards them. Sigh, little Sky King and others have previously endured here, refining their flesh. But we already believe that no one else in this world could do this. It seems like we were wrong. One of them sighed. You should go ahead. You've struck open your Dao bones, so before they've closed, it is perfect for finding the evil warding divine bamboo's elixir. Who knows, you really might be able to find the most ancient stock and refine your body. An elder said. Sure how said his goodbyes, and then left this place. At the peak of this place, apart from the suspended ancient shrine, there was a small path ahead that winded through the mountains, entering the void. This was a void divine bridge. This was a path made from cobblestones, like a small bridge constructed in the void. However, there were many people who stopped, becoming deranged there, laughing and giggling, some crying and screaming, all of them cultivators from the two academies. Sure how frowned. He felt all types of emotions, fragments of heroes left behind from the ancient era, these fragments actually invading the bodies of the present world's cultivators, making them go mad. Sure how was unmoved. He wanted to quickly find the evil warding divine bamboo before his bones healed and use it to refine himself. The path curved about, entering a secret realm. The path was like a bridge that connected to these hills, leading into a mortal mound region. White mist rose strand after strand. A small golden waterfall flowed down the mountain body, everything in this place shockingly beautiful, carrying a type of immortal Dao aura. The area wasn't small, at the very least, one couldn't see the other end. The most important thing was that this place was suspended in the sky, far from the ground surface, so this type of holy and pure mound region was naturally extremely mysterious. Only, no matter where one stood on the ground, this place couldn't be seen. Ah, along the way, there were many people who howled as they clutched their heads, some who even rolled all over the ground, in great suffering. The students from the two academies lost themselves here. Ha ha. I obtained a mortal ancient's number one scripture, an unmatched great method. I am destined to become unmatched under the heavens. Someone roared with laughter, going crazy there, tears about to come out while laughing. In the void, from time to time, light flowed across. Those were the imprints left behind by heroic spirits, these imprints greatly affecting everyone, invading their primordial spirits. However, as time went on, those heroic spirit imprints would leave, not truly destroying these people. This was the reason why the two academy's elders dared to let the disciples come here. There were some that would wake up again, recover, but if the next heroic spirit imprint attached to them, if they still couldn't hold on, then they would go crazy again. There were some who obtained benefits from this as well. Heroic spirit fragments were left over consciousness, the spiritual imprints left behind by ancient unmatched experts, so there might be world-shaking methods carried within them. If one's luck was good enough, able to obtain the acknowledgement of a heroic spirit's ruined soul, then they might obtain a world-shocking inheritance. Of course, these types of lucky individuals were extremely rare, because the heroic spirit fragments were too badly damaged, long losing independent will, and few would actually take the initiative to complete another. You are Huang. There were some on the path who became clear-headed. They saw that Shi Hao wasn't affected as he walked on this path all of them greatly shocked. Just how powerful was this person's willpower? Sure how continued going forward. Even though there were heroic spirits who threw themselves over from time to time, they were all blasted aside by his powerful blood energy. He was like a true dragon that was moving around this world. His bones were split open, golden blood marrow flowing through his body, releasing an incomparably frightening aura, unable to conceal it even if he tried. This actually pushed back the heroic spirits. Of course, there were still some heroic spirits who threw themselves over, all of them incredibly powerful, simply about to produce tangible bodies, their auras devouring the sun, moon, mountains, and rivers. It was precisely because of Sure How's golden bone marrow that they were drawn over, as if their past memories were stirred. They were previously unmatched creatures, having this type of blood energy. Chong. Sure How pulled out the everlasting immortal sword. It was extremely strange and miraculous, flickering with ascension light, each slash cutting down an extremely powerful heroic spirit. 
they no longer dared approach again. Sure, how was Long aware how strange this sword was, but he still couldn't help but feel moved. It could actually display might here, forcing back this type of heroic spirit. Dang. Right at this moment, a heroic spirit suddenly turned into a divine sword, similarly resplendent, erupting with five-colored brilliance. It hacked at Sure Hao, directly aiming for the space between his brows. As a result, blood flowed from Sure Hao's forehead, his skull about to split open. If nothing was done, he would definitely be captured, his body invaded by the heroic spirit, forced to fight against him. A single mistake and he would be like the others, lost for a very long time. However, the everlasting immortal sword brandished about, carrying hazy radiance, making that heroic spirit scream out, this sword, how could it be? Still in this world. It actually released a great shout, a divine will that sure how could clearly sense, leaving him greatly shaken up. A heroic spirit with spiritual awareness, as well as its past thoughts? His fine hair stood on end. Then, hot blood surged within him, his arms grabbing at that heroic spirit. Unfortunately, it fled. Moreover, at the final moment, that sword body turned into a creature. The expression in its eyes went stiff once more, no longer showing any vitality. That was a humanoid creature, of course. It was extremely damaged, less than a third of its body left, long left in ruins a long time ago. Finally, those who became clear-headed became a bit more numerous, all of them without a doubt powerful individuals, all the finest of talents. It's... Sure how? When these people saw him, their expressions immediately changed. Right now, sure how is clear-headed, no longer that person seated before the ancient shrine. If conflict sparked between them, who wouldn't feel fear? These were all cultivators from the two academies, none of them forgetting the great divine might sure how displayed in heavenly deity institution. He's actually completely unaffected, one sword each, sending all of the heroic spirits flying. Someone said with a gasp. Along the way, Sure Hao saw a few old acquaintances, but he didn't disturb them. It was because they were seated on the path, struggling against the heroic spirits. This wouldn't put their lives in danger, and it might be an instance of natural luck. Meanwhile, when he saw those who previously bore hostility against him, he felt disinclined to give them a second look. He didn't stop his steps, continuing forward. Finally, he arrived before the mountain gate, about to enter the immortal mound depths. A mysterious door rested here. Two stone mountains stretched out horizontally, guarding this place like two great doors. Green jade bamboos surrounded him, all of them extremely brilliant, releasing sparkling radiance, as if they were carved from the most beautiful divine stone. Unfortunately, these weren't evil warding divine bamboo. In this world, evil warding divine bamboo were just too rare, incomparably precious, their value astonishing. It could ward off evil spirits, defend against curses, poisonous substances, and could nourish the human body, prevent all methods from invading. A group of people stood at the mountain gate, all of them drenched in sweat, wishing to enter through the mountain gate, yet couldn't. There were no lack of young supreme beings with three strands of immortal energy among them, the most powerful young cultivators from the two academies lined up here. When these people saw Sher Hao, they were naturally alarmed. Some of them had provoked him not too long ago a few even taking action. Make way, please. Sure how walked over, speaking calmly. He could feel that the domain field here was extremely astonishing, stopping everyone from advancing, making them feel as if they had entered a swamp, difficult for them to proceed. When these people heard what he said, they were all stumped. Then, their faces turned red, he didn't place them in his eyes at all, feeling like they were standing in his way. Only, they only made it here with great difficulty, all of them entering this, swamp, difficult for them to move at all. The slightest careless movement might result in them being sent flying by the domain. Sure how frowned, now also feeling the tremendous domain force. That space was distorted, about to tear him apart. This was especially the case when his bones were currently shattered, right now even more so releasing caca sounds. However, he held on. Blood energy surged, protecting his body. In addition, he supported the single heavenly passage, forcefully pressing ahead into this place. Move to the side. Sure how spoke again. It was because the space between the two mountains was just too narrow, like a thread linking the heavens. Those people all blocked the path. Someone vomited blood, almost ripped apart by the domain. Sure how avoided this, moving around him. In the end, 
Those people looked on helplessly as Sure How calmly walked forward, all of them alarmed and ashamed. He was just too powerful, actually not being affected. Later on, Sure How saw a familiar person, Wang Shi, whose clothes were purer than snow. Her thighs were trembling, her body crushed by the domain until she was about to fall. She was walking at the front. Right now, she sensed an aura behind her that was extremely familiar. Then, she realized that this was Sure How who caught up. At this moment, she became nervous, fearing an ambush, scared of a battle happening here. Now, Wang Shi already understood that Sure How couldn't be fought head on. Unless the most powerful young supreme beings from a mortal and sacred academy took action, like Little Sky King, no one else in the same generation could defeat him. The road was extremely narrow. There was no way Sure How would remain unaffected here. His breathing was rushed, the air he released from his mouth like that of a true dragon's, roiling with heat. At this moment, the fine hairs on Wang Shi's back stood up. It was because she felt a surging heat that made her entire body uncomfortable and unnatural. This was just too awkward, actually encountering Sure How in this type of situation. Sure How stopped. He gave the beautiful rear figure less than three foot away a look, not saying anything, only silently watching her. He didn't take action, because there were old monsters outside. If something really did happen, he wouldn't be able to get away either. Moreover, right now, he really didn't have any desire to take action. All he wanted was to find the evil warding divine bamboo and start his cultivation, allow himself to soar into the heavens. Wang Shi was incredibly nervous, her entire body shining, her body taut, ready to erupt with strength at any time. Are you going to walk or not? Sure Hao said softly, making her body shake greatly. At this moment, Wang Shi felt a type of embarrassment. The other person didn't care at all, she was all nervous for no reason. Wang didn't care about these matters right now in the slightest. She didn't say anything. While biting down on her bright red lips, she moved her feet with difficulty, her exquisite and curvy body sticking to the stone wall beside her, and thus finally moving out of the way. However, she herself almost collapsed, blood flowing out from the corners of her lips. The domain here was too powerful, too difficult to bear. Sure how steps were steady, directly walking forward, not showing the slightest bit of hesitation. Wang Shi was greatly moved. The other party really was too domineering, not being restricted here. Sister-in-law, that person is too frightening. In the future, he might become a competitor for Big Bro, so we should try our best not to provoke him right now. Only when Sure How departed into the distance did the voice of someone from Sacred Academy transmit over. Hong, right at this moment, this path shook intensely. Everyone saw Sure How brandish his fist, smashing open a layer of golden barrier. He broke through the mountain gate, entering. At the very front of the path was a golden divine gate blocking the way, one formed from condensed tangible multicolored light. After a long time had passed and everyone arrived here with difficulty, they tried to strike at it, but they all failed, difficult for them to even move it. There were even more people who spat out blood from their mouths. Why is he this powerful? He blasted it open with a single fist? Inconceivable! I suspect that his three strands of immortal energy were cultivated by himself, not something bestowed by seniors through special conditions. It was as if Sure How was walking on level ground. He charged through the mountain gate alone, shocking everyone. Even those who also cultivated three strands of immortal energy felt speechless. They all knew that Huang might very well really obtain the evil warding divine bamboo. After Sure How moved through the golden barrier, he stopped, because he felt a mysterious aura. Divine multicolored light surged, entering his body, making him feel comfortably warm, incredibly relaxed and peaceful. This place definitely had great treasures. He immediately felt this, feeling both joy and worry. Then, he went on his way again, continuing into a mortal mound, starting his search for evil warding divine bamboo. Ayo! Suddenly, on a stone mountain, a strange bird flew over. It was terrifying and powerful, actually releasing a beast roar, throwing itself at Sure How's primordial spirit. A heroic spirit that is still relatively complete? Sure How was shocked. This type of thing was still in such good condition. Perhaps it had memories of the past. He held the everlasting immortal sword in hand, aiming it at this bird. Who? Crazy winds swept about. This bird stopped in midair, staring at the everlasting immortal sword, not approaching. Chi. Sure how moved the sword. As a result, 
the bird immediately spread its wings, fleeing. It really is strange, Sherhouse said to himself. Then, an old individual walked out, in his hands a medicine shovel. Someone else has arrived here. All opportunities must be obtained by yourself. You are. Sherhouse was horrified. There was actually an old farmer who appeared in this place, opening his mouth and speaking. It really was a bit strange. I am merely a drawing engraved on the stone wall by someone in the past, developed a bit of spirituality over the years, in charge of protecting this place and guiding later generations. The old farmer said. Sure how was stupefied, and then he trembled inwardly. Who was the one that engraved this? That person clearly had world-shaking power, or else how could a drawing develop life? I must consult Senior for advice. Sure how spoke respectfully. Once you continue forward, every powerful individual will be treated equally. The pressure you face will match your cultivation realm. It will be extremely dangerous. Do you still wish to proceed? I will continue. Sure how spoke without hesitation. Moreover, asking if there were evil warding divine bamboo here. There are a few, the oldest stalks still never discovered by others. The old farmer said. Sure how seriously consulted this old farmer, asking a few more questions, and then he advanced forward with great steps. After continuing for who knew how long, he saw a stone mountain in the distance. There was a snow-white trunk at the top of the mountain, its diameter as wide as a jar's. Pure white radiance was released from it, this item incredibly holy. Hong. Suddenly, primal chaos lightning erupted, continuously exploding around it. The scene immediately changed from peaceful to violent. Sure how widened his eyes, just what kind of tree was this, actually guiding primal chaos lightning down onto it. He, it actually appeared, the most ancient evil warding divine bamboo. The old farmer was shocked. That bamboo was pure white like jade, almost transparent, Multicolored light released in endless amounts, auspicious brilliance rushing into the heavens, lightning radiance swirling about, chaotic energy surging, miraculous and shocking. Sure how it never thought that a bamboo could actually be like this, like the creation of heaven and earth. That person couldn't be approached, divine light flying about, holy multicolored light rising. It doesn't look far, but it is unknown if you will be able to approach it. I do not dare walk the path ahead. The old farmer said, while speaking, he turned into a shadow, drifting backwards. In the end, he entered a stone wall, becoming a stone engraving. Sure how paused briefly, and then he walked forward resolutely. He came precisely for the evil warding divine bamboo, and he even saw it before him, so how could he give up on it? Xiao, a war spear that was dripping with blood pierced through the void, flying at Sure how. That type of force, that type of murderous energy truly made one shiver inwardly, their souls about to become rigid. Even the powerful Sure How was alarmed. He lost control of his body, corroded by the murderous energy, difficult for him to even budge. He was about to fall apart here. Ho! Oh. Sure How released a great roar. The space between his brows shone, his primordial spirit as if ignited, continuously surging with power. Eventually, it was as if a golden sea was boiling. This was a struggling of the soul. It was burning in chaos. He broke free from the restrictions. After taking a deep breath, he hacked out with the everlasting immortal sword. Dang. The sword core and that war spear collided, multicolored light rushing into the heavens between the two weapons. It was as if a star exploded, blowing up here. At the same time, Sherhau's body trembled, feeling this war spear's power steeply declining. Otherwise, the power would be simply enough to cut down stars, but right now, it was trembling. Following a muffled sound, the bleeding war spear turned into a bat, flying backwards. This was a heroic spirit, one that was extremely powerful and dared to attack him. Sure how understood what was happening. It originally possessed world-shocking power, but it was restrained by the sword core in his hand. One had to understand that many creatures along the way retreated after seeing the everlasting immortal sword, not daring to approach. Yet this bat dared to attack him. The bat was scarlet red like blood, its eyes golden. At this time, it suddenly swelled in size, and then terrifying sound waves were fired out, rippling towards Sherhal. Wing. The everlasting immortal sword shone, a rain of light scattering down. Bright multicolored light pervaded the air, blocking those ripples. A humanoid figure appeared on the sword core, as if it was going to ascend in the brilliance. Hong. Finally, an expanse of brilliant light erupted. That bat released a shrill cry, 
and then fled, not appearing again. This place became calm once more. Sure Hao breathed heavily, his chest rising and falling. There was a small crack in the space between his brows, blood flowing out from it. Just now, his entire body went cold, feeling as if he was going to die. This place was extremely dangerous. What he felt just now wasn't an illusion. That heroic spirit was different from the ones outside. It was powerful and merciless, murderous energy released from its body as it arrived. If not for the everlasting immortal sword suppressing it, sure how would undoubtedly be in danger. It was because that type of power was on a completely different level, too frightening. It might have even took over his body, occupying his head, replacing his primordial spirit. Just how many years have passed now? How could the heroic spirits still be like this? Could it be that they recovered some of their past memories? Sure Hao found it difficult to calm down, to the extent where he began to shiver inwardly. It was because even though the situation just now looked simple, it was actually extremely dangerous. That bat was ridiculously powerful. There were some who came here in the past. If they were also heavenly deities, how would they have escaped these life or death situations? Sure Hao said to himself. He lightly stroked the sword core. If he didn't have this thing, the result would be completely different. He believed that if there were other heavenly deities that came here, they definitely had to have secret treasures and other things they relied on. That old thing had previously said that the more powerful the one who enters, the greater the pressure they faced. Sure Hao's eyes flickered with radiance. He quickly advanced along the path. And? Why is it this far? Sure Hao was confused. He clearly saw the white bamboo but the distance didn't get that much shorter. He was still on the path. One had to understand that he possessed extreme speed. Finally, an hour later, after sure how had even lost track of how many Li he had crossed, he began to approach the foot of this mountain. Meanwhile, there was a vacant space here without plants, only scorched earth. Not a single blade of grass grew. This barren area rested between sure how and that mountain. Ayo. Immediately afterwards, something that made his scalp go numb happened. When Sher Hao had just stepped foot into this place, countless heroic spirits appeared. It was as if over 10,000 malicious spirits were howling and wailing, covering heaven and earth, numerous and close together as they threw themselves towards Sher Hao. All types of light surged together. Dragon sparrows, demonic apes, spiders, bats, and all different types of powerful creatures emerged at the same time, throwing themselves at Sher Hao. They were all damaged and incomplete heroic spirits. Chi. At this moment, the everlasting immortal sword rumbled, releasing endless streaks of sword light, shining with incomparable brilliance. He fought intensely here. Sure how skull had long been fractured to who knew how many pieces, but his primordial spirit didn't leave his body. However, countless heroic spirits were rushing at that location, wishing to occupy his body. Who? The everlasting immortal sword pierced into those heroic spirits' bodies. Some cried out miserably, running away, others turned into scattered ashes. There were some who didn't fear death at all, still rushing at him, wishing to enter his body. Along, Sure Hao put on the tattered armor, rust covering its surface. This was suspected to be left behind by the Lightning Emperor, the armor itself full of holes. Right now, it fully erupted, lightning released in millions and millions of streaks. However, despite all of this, he was still drowned under the heroic spirits. This place boiled with activity, ghosts wept, deities howled, all life screaming miserably. It was unknown just what exactly happened in the past. There were countless heroic spirits here, too many souls of creatures killed in battle, their remnant souls left behind here, carrying resentment, wishing to tear apart everything. Those heroic spirits were completely different from the ones outside the mountain gate all of them extremely dangerous. Ping. Blood scattered out like rain. Sure how's flesh almost burst apart, bone exposed. Those creatures flocked over, wanting to enter his body, smash into his bones. Chi. Sure how hacked backwards. The everlasting immortal sword's radiance covered his surroundings, the sword edge even entering his own body, this battle incredibly bitter. He truly never expected picking the evil warding divine bamboo would be this difficult. Everything that happened completely unexpected. After fighting in a muddle-headed state for who knew how long, Sure Hao discovered that those creatures had ran. This sword core began to tremble, also looking like it was vibrating, and then everything became calm. Sure Hao's body was in tatters, blood covering his entire body. 
his head felt a bit blank, to the extent where he couldn't recall everything that happened just now. Is it over? He got up, and then continued forward. Hong. Beneath his feet, a boulder burst, an almost transparent person walking out. Then, the sunlight shone down on him, the radiance magnificent, multicolored light overflowing into the heavens. Diamond race. Sure how was shocked. This was a creature made of diamond, extremely rare, but exceptionally sturdy. Only, it had long been turned into a puppet by another. In that split second, this diamond being erupted with heaven overflowing natural law force. It was as if this entire world was going to be extinguished. However, another type of natural law immediately appeared in this place, suppressing the diamond being. The natural laws were restrained, and then it began to decline finally only becoming half a cultivation realm stronger than the heavenly deity realm. Suppress, Sherhouse said to himself. He thought of the old farmer's words, that this place would definitely suppress intruders, but that there was still hope. The diamond being's cultivation realm was higher than the heavenly deity realm, but it wasn't to the point of making one feel utter despair. Hong, this was a great battle, one that was world-shaking. The diamond race's physiques were powerful to the extreme this barbarous collision making sure how feel like he was going to break apart. This was fatal damage, because right now, all the bones in sure how's body were broken. By that golden ancient shrine, he was hammered by the war god markings. These injuries still haven't healed. Ping. The diamond race puppet was unequaled in boldness and power. A body cultivator type struggle was carried out between sure how and itself. Blood splashed out. Pieces of bone flew out. Sure how suffered serious injuries, he truly never thought that the picking of medicine this time would be so dangerous, as if he fell straight into hell. Pong. After thousands of strikes and collisions, Sure how's body was almost in pieces, the ground soaked in blood and bone fragments that fell out, but he finally smashed apart the diamond being. I won. His breathing was rushed, injuries covering his entire body. The bone pieces on the ground flew over piece by piece, returning to his body once more starting to piece himself back together. He had never fought a battle this bitter before. He didn't fight against renowned geniuses, but rather a puppet that had was left from a mortal ancient, making him feel extremely conflicting emotions inside. Then, Sherhau ascended the mountain, wishing to approach the most ancient stock of evil warding divine bamboo. The instant he turned around, he saw the diamond puppet reassemble, becoming as good as before. It then gradually merged into a giant rock, thus disappearing. He sucked in a cold breath of air. Sure how arrived at the mountaintop. Most of the lightning had disappeared, now only having primal chaos left. It wrapped around the evil warding divine bamboo that was entirely white, even its leaves pure white like snow. This bamboo towered into the heavens, as thick as a water jar. It really was too brilliant, a divine aura spreading from it, making one feel ashamed of their own inferiority. It was as if he was facing the most noble plant in this world. It could subdue curses, shatter all things nefarious, reverse the universe. There were only these words here. Was this used to describe this stock of bamboo? Sure, how was completely silent. He recalled all types of inauspicious things. Could this bamboo neutralize all of those things? Chong. There was still one last trial awaiting him. A pitch black metal person walked over, appearing abruptly. Its entire body flickered with great doubt traces, sturdy and imperishable making one feel intimidated from the first glance. Darkness immortal gold? Sure how was shocked. There was a metal being here, its body not having any bit of impurity, completely made of darkness immortal gold. This was just too extravagant. Who was it that forged this? Soon afterwards, he understood. This was previously a powerful creature who had unmatched strength, but it was then subdued by another, had its life ended, and then forcefully refined into a puppet. It was still a puppet. Hong. The human form darkness immortal gold being sent a fist smashing towards the sky, actually blasting through the heavens. Great stars exploded in outer space, the star fragments directly crashing down. Sure how's entire body went cold. What kind of power was this? How was he supposed to resist against this? However, there was still a mysterious restriction that activated here, forcefully suppressing this being making the humanoid darkness immortal gold strength decline sharply. In the end, it became only a bit stronger than a heavenly deity. It ended up like this again. Sure how's mind trembled. I came from the other side of the world, 
following an undying being here in the past, but ended up dying here, the darkness immortal gold being actually released this bit of divine will fragment. Sure how was stunned. This was a foreign creature, one who previously slaughtered his way here behind an undying being. What was the story behind this? Next to the evil warding divine bamboo was a shining purple boulder. A line of markings appeared. That was a creature, one who was endlessly frightening, as if it could cross over time and arrive, able to sever time itself. It sat there, unknown if it was feeling joy or sorrow. How laughable, I had already achieved the undying. Yet I actually came here to search for the so-called evil warding divine bamboo to break the inauspicious. It truly is absurd. If others found out, would they treat this story with ridicule or indifference? I am precisely the strange and inauspicious, so what was there to even break? Eventually, he went crazy, starting to roar out. His body then gradually scattered. Sure how was shocked, staring blankly at that sparkling purple stone wall, not saying a single word. What happened back then? He seemed to have vaguely seized bits of something. There was a hole on a certain bamboo joint, pure white liquid continuously dripping out from within, scattering down. These droplets collected into a pool of divine liquid that flourished with divine light by the bamboo's roots.